Hello, beautiful people. My name is Sadasa Dekar, and uh, yeah, I'm doing this from my own uh, my own timeline instead of from my uh, page, Energy Queens. So yeah, you probably know my name if you're on this, but I might share it. So just to let you know, hello, and uh, yeah, I started doing a Facebook Live this morning, and uh, I stopped it and deleted it because I'd hardly said anything um, because I was having some issues and then my phone died so yeah that was the end of that for that walk <laughs> that's how it is it's all good so uh, yeah that actually kind of connects with what I was talking about like how do I deal with frustration right or how do you deal with frustration because uh, yeah I was watching uh, Ray Higdon the other day I watched Ray Higdon on a regular basis and um, oh hi Lee nice to see you Sorry, I'm kind of bending forward because I couldn't see. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was listening to Ray Higdon, and uh, he was saying basically what he said was that people with a, who get frustrated easily uh, have great difficulty uh, building a successful business, which would seem kind of like a no-brainer, but, uh, yeah, maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't that as obvious as it might seem to you and me. I hope you are someone to whom it seems obvious that having a being easily frustrated is not going to uh, uh, get you very far in life and in business and so on and in taking care of your health and taking care of yourself. As you may know, uh, I'm doing this uh, Pro Edge Challenge, this uh, very low carb, high fat uh, keto uh, challenge, and it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's been a it's been a um, a ride, shall we say, very, very different way of eating and uh, quite a bit of fatigue right now as I adjust to uh, really low carb eating. And um, I'm enjoying it though, actually, which is interesting. It's kind of, uh, kind of geeky and uh, yeah, I geek quite easily. <laughs> but yeah, there's frustration. There's uh, all sorts of things. There's like feeling tired, not wanting to work out. There's you know, digestive issues of which I will spare you the details. And um, yeah, just generally frustration happens. Whoops, that, you probably just heard that was my son on WhatsApp. I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb. So you may hear things, it's all good. <laughs> real life, raw and real, that's how it is. So um, yeah, frustration, it's, uh, what is it about? Frustration is something that we have when we're, you know, starts when we're young, you know, you have a baby what reaches for something and we don't give it to them because it's not safe and they scream because frustration starts very early. When we don't get what we want, we feel frustrated. Question is, what do we do with it? How do we deal with it? That's the main issue, right? Because uh, yeah, everybody feels frustration. Not everybody um, has issues with it that prevent them from building the life that they want to build. So what do the most successful people do when they feel frustrated? Well, first of all, they feel their feeling, but they don't wallow in it. I've been uh, using as my motto recently, uh, you know, bitch, adjust and move on. You know, it's important to feel your feelings. Don't pretend that you're not aggravated because, you know, you are aggravated. So it's okay, be aggravated. Um, you know, Ray Higdon, he had a bookkeeper who stole $60,000 from him. He said he was aggravated he was upset for about four minutes. <laughs> and then he said, what can we learn from this? And they moved on from there to put in systems and processes, which will ensure that this will never happen again. And in a says that in a weird way, he's actually kind of grateful that it happened because he built a much better system for his business. But yeah, one can argue that we don't necessarily want to have things like that happen. But still, when they do happen and life will happen, I mean, even the, the trivial this morning, I was going to go to the gym and then I couldn't because one of my kids was having some issues with allergies and misery and not going to school and so on. And so that time slot was just gone. And that's okay. You know, I'll go tomorrow. It's all good. And, you know, and with this keto thing, it's probably just as well to take a day off from the gym because I am feeling tired. So, um, yeah, so I was a little frustrated about that. And then I decided to go for a walk, which as you know, I started to uh, do a Facebook Live and then my phone died because, you know, when you're gonna go for a walk and you're gonna use Facebook and so on, it's probably a good idea to make sure that your phone is on full charge. But uh, yeah, what can we learn from this is a great reaction to frustration because uh, 
first of all, it takes away the victim mindset, okay? If you are screaming to the universe, why does this always happen to me? Then you are a helpless victim and you have no agency and you're not going to go anywhere with that. You'll just feel miserable and you won't and you won't get anything out of the experience. So nobody likes having frustrating experiences. Nobody likes being frustrated. But the question is, given the circumstance as it is, what are you going to do with it? So as I said, uh, start with acknowledging the aggravation because, you know, feel your feelings. Always feel your feelings. Feelings are always legitimate. Never let anybody tell you that you can't feel your feelings or that your feelings are not legitimate. What you feel is what you feel, and nobody can argue with that. Then the next step is to not wallow in that. Take a, take a couple of minutes, but don't take a couple of days or a couple of weeks or a couple of years, for heaven's sake. If you need an hour, oh my God, just take an hour, wallow, be miserable, and so on. But okay, now what? What do we learn from this? So you're frustrated. Things didn't happen the way you wanted them to happen. What can we learn from this? How can we fix the situation? How can we make this be the best that it can be? That is the question. Okay, so bitch, adjust and move on. <laughs> so that was my thought about frustration today, which was kind of uh, triggered by my not making it to the gym today. And um, yeah, if you like this sort of thing, please uh, check out my YouTube channel and because uh, I'm going to post everything there. And so you can see all the other things that I've posted, especially if you're not seeing things that I post on my um, on my energy queens page then um, yeah of course you can go and like the page but facebook being what it is uh, you might not see see stuff from there even if you did like it so uh, yeah the youtube uh, channel is called energy queens go and look it up subscribe i would love that i would really appreciate it and um, yeah and if you want uh, more where that came from just connect with me and let's talk. I am uh, in the process of putting together a semi-regular newsletter and I would love to send it to you if you are interested. So everyone, have a great day. Remember that I love you. And let me see if I can do this. Yes. And yeah, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.